so yeah, um, on occasion people do ask me, why am I trying to organize this march or rally or spending so much time volunteering? And I usually just reply, where were you when the announcement that Prop 8 had passed was made? And this is San Francisco. So inevitably, the answer is always, I was in the Castro. Almost every LGBT person and straight ally was there. It was a huge event. And so I asked, okay, well, what was it like? Because I wasn't there. And they tell me it was a mixed bucket of feelings, some anger, some happiness and joy, resentment. We had passed a bill that stripped rights away. But at the same time, we made this huge step forward with the first African-American president. And it was a big deal. So I asked, well, where were you three days prior to that? And that's kind of where you always get a blank. Um, and the answer is inevitably, all at work, or I was at a bar somewhere with friends. And I remember, at this point, where I was, I was vividly, was walking, it was uh, the end of a long month actually. Uh, I was walking my second precinct of the day. I was canvassing, I was putting up door hangers, knocking on doors, talking to people, reminding them that it is time to vote, that, it, that people's rights are on the line, that, and what meant so much to me was gonna be on the ballot. And I remember I walked up this house and there was this red tile and it was raining and I hopped up the stairs and I slipped and I caught myself and as I caught myself my knee tore open and I, you know, that was the end of the day for me. Um, so my housemate came, picked me up, dragged me back home, yada yada. And I remember a few days later watching the news and my knee the size of a grapefruit at that point not knowing that I wouldn't be able to walk for a year and a half without crutches. And the decision came down. And I watched on the news as Castro was filmed being riotous. And everybody was so energetic and all this activism was born in this one moment. And I wasn't there. And I just called my boyfriend, my partner at the time, and I cried. And he was gone and that was it, I was there. And so, in this, I think it reminds me that this is about missed chances. All that activism was born after the fact. And I won't stand by and watch San Francisco miss its chance to make its voice heard. This is San Francisco. Who are we if we don't stand up and fight for equality? Everyone's equality. Our fight is not over until everyone even one, if even one person has to watch as their partner is on a gurney and being put into an ambulance and they don't have the power to say, that's my husband and be allowed to go into that ambulance after them like everybody else and every other committed family then our fight is not over and equality and we have not done enough and that's why I'll be there on the 25th. Something for this nation that may well. The journey is not complete until our gay brothers and sisters are treated like anyone else under the law. For if we are truly created equal, then surely the love we commit to one another must be equal as well.